Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3. Now, since her debut album in 1987, Can't Be With You Tonight, from which the title song has become an international classic hit, till now, she has released no less than 11 albums. A household name in the reggae and R&B music world, she has been performing for more than 40 years. We're honored to have her in our loft today during her eighth visit to South Africa, the iconic Judy Bausha. Welcome. Lovely to have you with us. It's nice to be back. Yes, so this marks your eighth visit to wow. South Africa. I Apart from the fans, what brings you back every time? Well, the fans want me back. Wow. They keep calling. When are you coming back? And um, it just so happened that um, I'm just lucky that the people here love me. And yes. that's all I can say. Yes. And it gives me the opportunity to return time and time again. And I never get tired of it. You never get tired. Never do get you tired recall your first ever visit to South Africa? Yes. And do you oh, remember wow. the, the emotions that surrounded yes, it? very much so. Um, I think it's probably my 1988 or 89 was my first visit. Um, it started off a little bit controversial. Yeah. Because it was a time when there was the cultural boycott and um, people did not take too kindly of me coming to South Africa. Mm. I remember the first, the first um, request and I turned it down. Right. Because I was worried of, you know, how- Because of the political climate. Yes, that's right. Time. And then they just won't stop. And I keep asking questions. How would it be when I get to the airport and, and such? But they assured me that everything would be fine. Everything would be fine. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I did my homework. Um, in London and ask the union um, what do they think of me going and they said we have no problems with it That's but incredible. what we ask you not to do not to sing wow yeah. that must yes. have startled you mm. well they said tell your life story mm. you know and um, but just don't sing don't even mime but you have lots to talk about because of your success. So go and soak it all up. Yeah. And I did that. Wow. And we had some fantastic open broadcasts. Um, one especially in, in Cape Town. Thousands and thousands of people came. I, I couldn't understand it because uh, we, were, we arrived in Cape Town in the evening. So I didn't see anything. And then... They were taking me to the venue the following day. Yes. And I just saw people, they were running from, it's like everywhere. And I'm saying, where are they going? Not realizing that they were running. Coming to see, to see you. Me. Isn't that amazing? And oh my God, it's a memory that I'll never forget. Wow. Um, and um, got there and I, all I could see was a sea, a sea of, people. of people. And they brought cloth for me. A guy even brought a cow. Wow. <laughs> and the DJ... Was it followed by a proposal? <laughs> well, I didn't get close. <laughs> Couldn't even get close. Because um, we were there, we were set up uh -huh. pretty high up. And I thought then I'll give some photograph. Yeah. Well, wrong, crazy. So now everybody just surged forward because everyone wanted a, a wanted photo. A, yeah. And there were people, like some were disabled at the front, and they were disappearing underneath oh, the setup. Wow. We had to... Do some serious crowd yeah. management. Yeah. Well, they had to yeah. take us away. Wow. They won't go and um, they hook us up on this tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> and they took us away. And the crowd was just running behind it. Wow, what an adventure. And obviously, in 46 years, the music industry has changed dramatically since when you began. What are some of the changes that have happened over time that, when you look back, you wish had taken place earlier? I, I'm not sure that there would, there would be anything I would change. Yeah. My, my start in, in the music industry wasn't what I was looking for. I never wanted to be famous. I never thought of being famous. I can relate to that. We started off, I think, I was probably about 18 years old. And it was just by chance. I don't understand. People say fate. Mm. Uh, you know, I joined my mom um, in London when I was about 15. 
Wow. You Is know? that when you joined Judy, Jack and the Beast? Yeah. Stalks? Okay, yeah. the band. Just right. by chance. And my brother wanted me, oh, come and sing for me. And I so oh, leave me alone, sort of like that. And he said, come on. So I thought, okay, I'm going to be like Aretha Franklin. And I, we started singing. And something, I think it was something like Stand By Me. And he just stopped. And he said, oh my God, what a voice. Wow. And he just said, we must form and it, a group. And so, it, yeah, so it took off from there. Took off, we, okay. we, we formed Judy Jack and the Beanstalks and we were going for possibly something like 10 years. And then he decided that he's getting married, he's moving away. And after that, I didn't feel that I wanted to join another group. I got married settled down, didn't think anymore about the music. Were you at peace completely with putting music aside and focusing yeah, on that yeah, part of yes your I Yes, I was. I came to terms with it that um, in, in our culture, as Caribbean people, they thought, well, when, when you're married, you should be on the stage. You should just look after your husband and your children. <laughs> yes, so. yes. In fact, and I'm reading um, Grace Jones's memoir, mm -hmm. and um, she, t she talks a lot about Caribbean culture, so I can imagine yes. that that's the order of the day. That's right. So I, I gave it up, um, but the, a twist of fate, I think, the marriage didn't last. And um, I was just left with the children to look after, and I wanted to do that. 100% mm -hmm. and make sure that I supported my children with education and everything that I didn't get as a youngster. And I said, Mom, what do you think? And that, my little girl, and the board thought, well, You've got nothing to lose. Well, we're very glad you came back because you're now in South Africa headlining a show with some amazing South African artists. What can audiences look forward to? Oh, wow. I always try to do my best um, and, and deliver. Uh -huh. I, am, I, I feel so blessed by the reception I get here every time I come to South Africa. I am not going to do like an hour performance or so. It's going to be a few songs. Okay, okay. Well, I'm about to let Judy go into the hands of Danilo and Clem, and uh, we'll see what they're going to whip up for us. Oh man, what a journey. And I'm so excited to actually be in the kitchen today with Clem, because we're also going to take you on a culinary and cultural journey today, going all the way back to the roots of where Judy uh, comes from and sort of exactly. hopefully you're going to surprise her. I think it would be irresponsible of us not to welcome her into the kitchen today to help us cook. How about it? Absolutely, there's a little bit of, there's some pressure there, eh? There's for you, pressure. not for me. I just get to have some fun and watch you guys do this thing. <laughs> Judy, please come and join us in the kitchen. We'd love to have you here. It's such an honor to, to, to see you and to meet you. Oh, nice to be with you this morning. I hope you're excited to cook with us today. Welcome. Yes, um, I am. We're making yeah, a special dish. What are we making? Especially for you, we're making mm. jerk duck with a grilled cucumber salad Ooh. and some Ooh. rice and beans at the end. Does that take you way back? Good. Sounds good. Does it take you yes. back? Well, we don't often do... Um, um, Jerk duck. Uh -huh. Jerk chicken is more popular. Ooh, so we're going to kind of make it all fancy schmancy. Yes. Then. Try yes, something different. Then you guys can obviously get the recipe. It's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. You can cook along with us. Let's get started. Let's get into it. So, hope you don't mind making... getting your hands dirty, by the way. No, I don't mind. There we okay, go. Great. So, we're making our own jerk seasoning today. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important parts of the jerk seasoning for me, besides the allspice berry, is the chili. Yes. And we spoke about the specifically the, yeah. the scotch bonnet. Yes, because we do scotch bonnet. In some countries, they call it the habanero. habanero. Yes. Like in Belize, they will call it the habanero pepper. But they are the same way. Really. Same thing. Okay. Yeah. Amazing, same citrus flavor. With Absolutely. That heat. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's go through the other list of ingredients. So we've got yeah. some um, onion flakes. That's Dried available up. in mm -hmm. all stores. We've got some rock salt just to help us break it all up yes. together. Yeah. Bessel and water. We've got allspice berries the habanero we spoke about, some dried thyme, some ground cinnamon with a little oh. bit of um, ground clove in there as well. Yeah. And then last but not least, some peppercorns. peppercorns. Okay. So, Danilla, how about... You check all the peppercorns. How about you, you can, for me? Come. 
and then all the I will mortar. start scoring the duck. So we're scoring the duck just to help that fat release out yes, of the duck. Yeah. We know duck is a very fatty bird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so scoring the duck. How's it going there, Danilo? It's so far so good. Oh, as you're almost crunching up all of these different flavors, it's just starting to give this like burst of flavor in your, yes, that's in your right. nostrils. It's delicious. Mm. You didn't have any clove in that, did you? Did you say clove? There's a little bit of clove in the ground oh, cinnamon. Oh, oh, Mix okay. it a little bit. Right. Is clove also very important? Uh, very, very important, in, um, especially in jerk. Yeah. Are you much of a cook at home, by the way? Do you do all the cooking? Yes. I yes. like to cook. I'm a collector of cookbooks. Yes. I try to, cook, to get cookbooks from all around the world. Something slightly different all the time, all, I think. All that's, the time, yeah. 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 But, but because now I'm sort of resident in the Caribbean, everything practically is fish. Okay. I see. That sounds but, amazing. Yeah, that's which is very similar we, to us in South Africa. Yeah. We also love our yeah. fresh fish. Mm. Yeah. But um, we don't get prawns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit behind with the prawns. <laughs> so what I've done out of the paste, I've just added a little bit of olive oil just to turn it into the paste. Okay, cool. Great job on just that, Danilo. Just it a bit. Do you miss um, home cooking while you're travelling? While you're on tour? Um, no, not really, because it gives me the opportunity to try other things while I'm here. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I'm, I'm that, keen that, to that, go on this culinary little experience here because I've honestly never cooked with duck before because it is such a like a delicate piece of meat. I mean, it's got a lot of flavours already within it, and to kind of find out a way that's so different and so not from my usual, I'm excited to see how this comes out. And I'm surprised you haven't mentioned that we're putting the duck in the cold pan. We probably I made a mistake. I was thinking. I was thinking that already. The reason for that is once if we had to put that into a hot pan, it would instantly seal the duck. Right. We wouldn't get all that extra fat out that we want. Oh. Started by a cold pan, we yeah. slowly render that fat out and the duck cooks in its own fat. Yeah, oh, and okay. also toasts all the spices from our mix. Because we didn't toast wow, it before the time. Interesting. We actually did the spices toast in the pan. Ooh. And that's uh. the trick with this dish as well. And then you get the maximum You put the fatty side down, you put the skin side down. Very important. Yeah. Fatty side down, always with duck. So like, like again, get that fat out there and start seasoning the duck in its own juices, in its own fat. Ooh, delicious. So as that's coming up to temperature now, we're going to let that go for about five minutes, keep on checking it to make sure your skin goes extremely crispy, crispy. glossy in a sense. Oh, delicious. And then we turn it over and we'll give it another four minutes and it should be done perfect. Delicious. We are going to make a side salad though for this as well later Absolutely. Okay. It's a bit of, a, bit of a, 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 another trying it out, a grilled cucumber salad, but it should be amazing. Okay, I'm excited. I can't did, wait for all of these delicious dishes. Did you dishes say grilled? Right grilled. Grill. Yes, grilled we're going to be making. That's grilled cucumber. It's quite an interesting little feat we're going to try here on the show. After the break, South Africa, we're on the couch with Olueto Dianti, the young magician from Kailicha who's making waves across the world and he's going to give us a little taste of what he can do. Also, comedian Dalen Oliver is coming up later as well. So you don't want to miss it. It's always awesome to have funny men in the loft with us. I love working with Dalen. He's one of those characters who really works hard at what he does and really does try and find those unique little opportunities to make you laugh. So it's really, really awesome to have him in the loft with us today. But it's also good to have Judy Boucher joining us in the loft. And we're making something so delicious today. We're making uh, something to do with duck and we're also making now the side salad. I said something to do with duck because I actually forgot what it's called. It is the grilled cucumber salad. No, that's a grilled... Uh, what's oh, the duck? The, the jerk duck. Jerk, jerk, jerk duck. Jerk, that's jerk. it. We're making a jerk duck. So if you've also forgotten the website, afternoonexpress.co.za, so you can find the recipe and the shopping list. So we're making jerk duck, and now it's time for us to get onto the salad, which has grilled cucumber. We're trying it. Well, it's not... It's new to us, but, I mean, so many Asian salads have um, fried off cucumber in there. So today wow. we're going to take that spin and that inspiration to put our salad together. This How can we help? I mean, Would you slice new. the cucumber up for me, please? It's just into quarters, once down the length, mm -hmm. and then in half. You can if take you the can big knife, me, that's all yours. I have the big cleaver. Da -da. <laughs> Just stay away from me. I'm washing my knife, okay? What can I do? So what you can do is you can chop the dull up for me. I'm okay. actually doing nothing. I'm just standing back. Okay. That's amazing. So, so you can totally go I... to the cucumber and then straight down and the end. Amazing. Down so the I've got my griddle pan on. Without it's... cutting my fingers? Not me. Well well done. Great job. Mine. Stay away from mine too, please. <laughs> Great ah. job. Look at that. So now, here goes the crazy part. Straight onto our really hot smoking griddle pan. And that's just to release some of the natural flavors in there as well. Because cucumber tastes different when it's been heated up slightly. Oh. So we'll give that a few seconds. Danilla, how are you doing? I'm done. Okay, so in your mixing bowl, Danilla, yes. you can add the dill for me. And dill goes so well with cucumber, we know that mm. already. Yeah. Cool. Um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, you've got your side as well. All of it. Well. And a little mm. bit of honey, just to counteract that. Flavor of and this is the... like a sort of, you can use the maple honey, wow, I suppose, which gives a nice little flavor. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. So you've got your spatula on the side. Yes, I do. So if you could add a little bit of salt just for seasoning, and you can stir that all up to get all the ingredients together. 
How about I hand this to you? You can help me stir this up. There we go. Okay. Let's stir it up. Throw a bit of salt in there, just for season. Cool. And do you want me is to that, add the that, onions? Is that enough salt? Just a little pinch, eh? We, a little pinch of the spring onion. Joe, we'll use some of that at the end as well. Delicious. Okay. Uh, there seemed to be quite a lot of um, liquid there. And that's, we're gonna, that liquid is going to help, in a sense, pickle our cucumbers. Oh. And you don't need to char it completely black. Just get some of those char lines on there, okay. and that's enough to add some of that smoky ah. flavor. And the texture's changed. You can see so much can of I the liquid is coming. Can see what it tastes like? Sure, go for it. I just want to know because I've never... It's a bit strange because it's warm. Mm. It's delicious because it tastes a little bit like zucchini. It's a slightly different mm -hmm. flavor. It's got that smoky flavor like you said. And it's warm, which is weird for cucumbers. It's but warm. <laughs> and I like the flavors. And a little bit sweet. Mm. And that's what the extra heat does. It brings us some of the natural sugar mm -hmm. in the actual cucumber. So this, awesome. this experiment of mine is a bit of a success. It is a success. It's a, what you call it, a clem win. A clem win. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Danilla. Okay. okay, great. So get our cucumber in there. Our duck has been resting, and that's very important that after it's been roasting, you let it rest for about five minutes, ten yeah. minutes. Remember, there's a lot of liquid in that duck, mm. and that's a trick. You don't want to slice it and all the liquid runs out. Yeah, I see. So keep all the juices in. You want to dry duck. Delicious. So let's start plating up our dish. Danilla, yeah. will you pass the plate on the side for but me? But oh, you cheated us, I think, because you just put this whole thing on our plate. It's like we meant to know what this is. So we haven't even shown anyone how to make this. It's what a bit of a treat. I'm hoping that Judy likes it. It is my rice and beans. That's ah. right. Traditional recipe. Ooh. It's rice and beans, a traditional one. Yeah. Okay. So um, that recipe is on our website as well, and you've got to try it. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Oh, those look so good, guys. I just want to tuck in right now. Wow. So let's top it with some of that grilled cucumber salad. Oh, I see. So it goes actually on the dish itself. Why not? And okay. I mean, I'm putting it all on one big platter, mm -hmm. a platter because, I mean, the idea of feasting and like yeah. having one big platter and everybody eating... And the thing is, it's, it's cucumber, it's healthy. There we go. That's what they all say, cucumber's healthy, but I just think it's like water. <laughs> it's well, like eating grilled water. water eh? Yeah, it's grilled it's water. water. What do you think, guys? I, you think you should, I think you should use a spoon, is what I think. Why? Because this is, <laughs> you look like it's torture of that? you trying to like skew out these big things. It looks so amazing, and I can't wait to tuck into this, and I hope you're excited to taste it too. I see you oh, yes. Mm. Smacking your lips there. Mm. On the far side. So, South Africa, don't forget, after the break, Judy Boucher treats us to an exclusive performance. So stay right where you are. Make sure that she keeps this food safe. See you now. And now, for the moment we've all been anticipating, Judy Boucher in the loft about to perform I'm Hopelessly Yours. Take it away. Forever, I'm hoping. 
Come and join us at the table. It would be fantastic to share a meal with you after that beautiful, beautiful performance. Yes, Congratulations, yes. all three of you. Is that about someone really specific? Because it sounded like a serious heartbreak. <laughs> um, well, it's a heartbreak song, of course. It was written by one of my favorite country singer, now deceased, George Jones. Okay. And, and a lot of people thought that he probably would be singing it for Tammy Minnett, who was his wife. Wow. Ah. Well, I don't think so. They sort out all of those problems is food. It always does. It <laughs> yeah. solves every problem. Claim, would you mind dishing up our kids? Let's comfort eat. Yeah, let's comfort eat. South Africa, it's really cool to have Judy with us in the loft today, and it's really awesome to be in your living room this afternoon. Thank you so much for yeah. tuning into the show today. We're going to enjoy a delicious meal. I hope you guys will be enjoying the same meal at home after you cooked along with us right here on Afternoon Express. We'll see you next week, right? Yeah, next same week. time, same Enjoy place. Your weekend. Good night. Happy eating. How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.